We begin in Cedar Rapids where right now police are investigating the shooting of two people at the Kirkwood Court Apartments. Police are also investigating a third shooting in the city. Brian Scott live with the latest on these investigations. Brian. Well, Tiffany, we still haven't learned a whole lot about what spurred things over here. What we do know is that Cedar Rapids police actually started their week here on the southwest side on Monday with a fatal shooting. Tuesday they dealt with another one. Then Thursday there was a stabbing and now Friday they're back with more shots fired and more people injured. Two down near a college campus. Once we arrived, found two people here uh, that had been shot. A 21 year old woman and a 22 year old man at the Kirkwood Court Apartments. Video inside the property reveals an intense police investigation and several people standing by for questioning, but the public's left with no answers yet. I've heard two people got shot. I mean, I went down to the school and Everything is in lockdown. It's pretty chaotic there. Something about shootings and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And my mom thought I was dead. A viewer picture shows one of the victims being loaded in the ambulance. Both at last check are in critical condition. It's a little scary. I mean, I was a little scared of walking home. Yeah, definitely. I don't want to get shot. Now, as for those shootings here at the Kirkwood Court Apartments, everyone's been cleared and they are finally letting people out of the property. However, police are, from what we hear, still inside doing some investigation. Now, as you alluded to, there was a third shooting as well when all of this was going on. A man actually showed up to Mercy Medical Center with a gunshot wound. Police are not completely sure if that incident is related to this one or not or they're also not sure if any of their incidents this week are related to one another. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids tonight, Brian Scott, CBS 2 News.